Pokemon has been hailed as one of the biggest franchises in the world. We've even seen a bunch of variations of this inside of Minecraft. So with that being said, I decided to make every mob into Pokemon. Okay, the first Pokemon we're gonna work with is Ghastly. Now, obviously the best mob we can get for that is gonna be a Blaze. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the head this purple color. Then we kind of need to start working on these eyes. For the eyes, I think this looks pretty decent. We're gonna go around and add this gray tint to the outside. Those look a little bit better. Now we have to draw the mouth on and he has a little tooth. That looks pretty good. Now the legs, nothing too crazy is gonna happen. For the most part, Ghastly's legs are just this purple color, but we definitely are gonna need to texture it up. Now, in terms of texturing, Ghastly is gonna be the same as pretty much everything else. Gonna hit it with a little bit of noise. I think it's something around this looks pretty good. And I was pretty much right. This actually looks really good. I am gonna color the tips of the little blaze rods. I feel like having a dark purple foil add a little bit of touch to it. And there's our first Pokemon. Now, of course, for Blaze, we have to go to the Nether. And I feel like there is no better place to find these Blazes than in the fortress itself. I mean, just look at these things. The eyes are perfect. I like the texturing. I don't know why the right side isn't textured. I was pretty sure I did that, but apparently not. Let me go ahead and grab myself a sword. I'll get some casual iron armor. And let's see how long it takes me to take out a Legion of Blaze. All right, here we go. I'm really bad at PVP, so... Oh, God. Oh, that's a lot more than I... Okay, why did I spawn so many? We're going for one kill, please. Please. Oh, God, I'm alive. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. no. Okay, okay, okay. That's not going good. Oh, God, I gotta run. I think I'm dead. I think this is the end for me. Oh, my gosh. There's two... No, no. Okay. And for our next mob, I thought it'd be a really good idea to go with something a little more basic. For this one, we are gonna go with Magikarp. And there is no better mob to do than a simple salmon. First impression, you're gonna have to be shrunk out a whole lot. Honestly, I feel like we just delete the head. And the part that we actually should work with is this fish body. First things first, let's go ahead and draw a mouth. I'm thinking something right about this looks good. We'll color the inside a nice purple. Now we need to work with the side. First thing on the list, we're gonna add in these eyes, give it a little black dot, and we have to add in this weird little wing thing it has. That actually looks pretty good to me. Now I made this top fin head so we can actually create a shape out of it. And I'm thinking something like this looks pretty good. If we chop the back tail into this Magikarp actually looking tail, we do need to add in the white outer lines. And I think this looks pretty good. I'm gonna add a more of a dark red around these fins. And we're gonna go ahead and get this textured up. And I feel like this one, the texture is gonna really give it that nice pop. We're just gonna add uh, the same amount. I think eight looks good for this. Oh yeah, this thing is perfect. I feel like we wouldn't be doing this mob justice if we didn't find a warm ocean to put it in. See, the vibes here are just so much better. Let's go ahead and get into the water and let's throw down. Oh, up, are you, are you, oh. It's moving a little weird, but it looks good. I'm gonna spawn in a whole bunch of these guys. These things look so good. I can make like a little aquarium with these things. If I would change one thing, I would probably make the fin kind of wave a little more because right now it's kind of just attached to the body. But other than that, I have no real complaint with this. Next on our list, we're gonna do everyone's favorite character from Pokemon. We're gonna go with Pikachu. And of course, I feel like there's no better mod to do Pikachu than a rabbit. So let's get this thing done. Now for Pikachu, I wanna keep this really basic. We're gonna start off with a whole yellow head. We're gonna give it these white eyes. Then we need to find like a lightish brown color to go on the outside and then add a little bit of red blush. Now for the ear, we're gonna start off with this yellow build and I'm gonna color in the top black. Now Pikachu kind of has like a slit in the ear. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this part away. And I think it looks pretty good. Now for the body, I didn't really know what to do except make it yellow. Only other thing I felt we kind of needed was just a little brown inner on the tail. But other than our normal texturing, I think Pikachu looks really good. And honestly, I'm thinking of going with a little bit more noise than normal because Pikachu does have a lot of dark spots. So I think right here looks pretty good. And I was pretty much right. This actually looks really good. Now this one should turn out pretty well. It's pretty basic, but I do mess up a lot of basic things. Let us see what our Pikachu looks like in three, two, one. Oh, I spawned two. But hey, this, this looks really good. It's actually, oh, baby rabbit. Oh, we got Raichu. Oh my God, you can jump. Now just stick a bunch of them in a hole. Just leave them here and observe. These things look really good. They're all pretty well bit. I don't, I don't really have any complaints for this. If this was the way I died, I would be happy. Now for our next mob, I really want to make this one detailed. We're going to go with Bulbasaur. And I think the best mob for Bulbasaur would have to be a pig. To start off, we're gonna make the pig head this entire blue, and now we're gonna start working on the face. I think we're gonna start off with these red eyes, and now make the outside of it this darker color. 
We're gonna go ahead and draw on Bulbasaur's mouth. I think something like this looks pretty good. I think it's a good start to the face. Let's add on Bulbasaur's nose, and we'll give this little feather at the top. And this is the perfect start to the body. Now for the body, the only thing we gotta worry about is really the leaf on the back. Now, this is probably the best leaf I could draw. And now we got, all we gotta do is copy that same trend all the way around. Now we got the whole body color and we just have to add in these stems. And I think this looks pretty good. Now there's nothing too crazy going on the, for the feet except like some white toes. So I think this gets the job done. And there's our Bulbasaur. Now I really think when this one gets textured, it's probably gonna be the best one I've made. Hopefully we actually get some good noise from this. This looks a lot better. Now this one took me a long time to make, so if it looks bad, I might actually cry. Let's see what we got. Let's put down. I still have the Ronald one up. I. I, uh, okay. All right, start on the pig, see what we got. Oh my God, the face looks so good. I think everything else looks pretty good. I mean, maybe the leaf could be a little more textured, but the face of this thing looks amazing. Let's get a baby Bulbasaur, get out the way, move, move. Oh my gosh, this thing's perfect. They're perfect, they look so good. Hey, this one took me a long time. I'm proud of it. If you don't like it, I, I don't know what to tell you. For the last one, I feel like there is no better choice than to go with Charizard. And considering we haven't really touched a boss yet, we're gonna go ahead and work with the Ender Dragon. Why Why does the Ender Dragon look like this when you load it up? Now, to not overcomplicate things, I just went ahead and made the whole entire thing orange. Let's go ahead and add on some eyes. I think that looks pretty good. At the bottom of this, we're gonna leave this reddish color, and I'm gonna go ahead and smack on a couple teeth. Now I'm thinking we keep the spine pretty much like this. And we're gonna color in the lower section that Charizard color. The next thing we have is the jawline of the Ender Dragon. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with this red tongue. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw in the tongue, add a couple teeth, and that looks pretty good to me. It's really nothing too special about the body. I think we're probably just gonna color in the bottom part the same. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Can't forget to add on the toes. We gotta add the toe lining to the feet. I'm actually really happy with this. Now, unlike the rest, we're really not gonna texture this one up too much, but we are gonna add a little bit of noise to it. Okay, I think that's enough texturing for this one. I said I wasn't gonna add too much texturing, but I think this looks really good. And for this one, we have to make our way to the end. There should already be a dragon there, so it shouldn't be really a problem. Let's go ahead and see how our Charizard looks. This thing looks amazing. Wait, this actually looks better than I thought it would look. And I think to finish this off, we actually have to defeat the boss. We haven't done something like this yet, so... Oh god, I'm gonna die. This really shouldn't be too hard, because I do have a bow. Okay, we have all of our towers down, so now we all gotta do is just kill this thing. Oh, oh god. Okay, wait, wait, please. I'm horrible at this. Yeah, I suck. Well, I wasn't able to kill the Ender Dragon, but that thing was still freaking cool. If you guys want these skins, all you gotta do is join the Discord. I have a link in there. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Comment down below what mobs you want me to work with next. I think this is probably my favorite pack, so go ahead and check it out.